Lions Dan Campbell hilariously recalls moment when player punched him as he walked through team headquarters. Please subscribe to RZ News for more updates. Dan Campbell has experienced his share of memorable moments during more than three years as the Detroit Lions head coach this week, Campbell recalled a lighthearted moment when he was on the receiving end of a couple of punches from a Lions player. Three-time Pro Bowl offensive lineman Frank Ragnow missed the Lions' recent game against the Seattle Seahawks due to an injury. The Lions entered there by week after a 42-29 win over the Seahawks, giving Ragnow more time to recover from a partially torn pectoral. Despite the team's decision to sit him for the game, Ragnow appeared anxious to suit up. Campbell revealed the offensive lineman's enthusiasm resulted in some punches being thrown. Campbell said he was punched one day when he was at the Lions headquarters in Allen Park, Michigan. Someone punches me against the wall, then I get punched again, and I realize that it's Frank trying to show me that his peck is great, Campbell said via Detroit Sports Radio 97.1 The Ticket. That's his way of telling me, look how strong I am. It's good. Campbell seemed to take the hits in stride. He is credited with transforming the Lions locker room during his time as the head coach. Campbell's time as an NFL player seems to have helped him develop strong relationships with many of the Lions players. After finishing with just three wins in Campbell's first year in Detroit, the Lions went 9-8 in 2022. Last season proved to be a memorable one for Detroit. The Lions won 12 regular season games and advanced to the NFC Championship game for the first time since 1991. While the Lions' storybook season ended in January in a 34-31 loss to the San Francisco 49ers, Campbell helped breathe new life into the franchise. This year, the Lions entered the season with expectations to compete for a championship. In January, the team's title hopes received a boost when offensive coordinator Ben Johnson decided to end his pursuit of head coaching opportunities and return to Detroit. The 38-year-old assistant coach was the architect of one of the best offenses in the NFL in 2023.